The backyard revolution that's making fertilizer companies nervous is, well, closer than you might think. What if the secret to endless soil fertility has been hiding beneath your feet all along, right now, in backyards and small farms across the world? Gardeners are quietly unlocking a method so powerful it's making fertilizer companies sweat. It's simple, it's inexpensive, and honestly, it's rooted in ancient Korean wisdom. This is Korean Natural Farming, or KNF, and it's changing the future of how we grow food. For anyone who's ever stared at a bag of chemical fertilizer wondering if there's a better way, the answer is a resounding yes. KNF proves you can create a thriving garden ecosystem using the living power of microorganisms. No chemicals, no dependency, just nature working at its best. Traditional agriculture often treats soil like an empty container that needs to be constantly refilled with synthetic nutrients. Korean natural farming flips that idea on its head. Instead of force-feeding plants, KNF focuses on feeding the soil life, the bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and nematodes that naturally make nutrients available to plants. When the soil community thrives, plants no longer need constant external feeding. They draw what they need, when they need it. The result is richer soil, healthier crops, and a self-sustaining cycle of fertility. This is the quiet secret that's making fertilizer companies nervous. Once you learn it, you might never buy fertilizer again. Every patch of land has its own unique microbial fingerprint, tiny life forms perfectly adapted to that local soil and climate. Instead of importing commercial inoculants, KNF captures these local microorganisms, known as indigenous microorganisms, or IMOs, and reintroduces them to the soil in concentrated form. Here's how to do it right in your backyard. Find a shaded spot under trees or near natural leaf litter where soil life is thriving. Fill a wooden or bamboo box with ventilation holes with plain, freshly cooked rice, about two cups for a small box. Cover loosely with a breathable cloth or mesh and leave it in that shaded area for three to five days. When you return, you'll notice white mold or a fuzzy growth covering the rice. That's actually your living culture of beneficial microorganisms. Mix this rice with an equal weight of brown sugar to stabilize it, and then store it in a jar. You've just captured the microbial heartbeat of your land. When diluted, say, one tablespoon of the IMO mixture per one liter of water and sprinkled over compost or soil, this solution really awakens your garden's natural fertility. You're not importing life. You're amplifying what's already there. Among all Korean natural farming formulas, fermented plant juice, or FPJ, is honestly the simplest and most rewarding. FPJ acts like a natural energy drink for your plants and soil microbes. It's made from the vigorous wild plants already thriving around you. Those that grow strong without any human help. So, how do you make fermented plant juice? First, collect about 1 kilogram of fast-growing, healthy local plants such as nettles, comfrey, seaweed, or mugwort. Chop them up roughly and mix with 1 kilogram of brown sugar in a clean, non-metallic container. Cover it loosely and let it ferment at room temperature, around 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 to 7 days. After fermentation, you'll want to strain out the liquid. That golden brown juice is your FPJ concentrate, so how do you use it? Well, just dilute one tablespoon, or about 15 milliliters of FPJ in one liter of water, and apply it as a foliar spray or soil drench once a week. For larger gardens it's easy to scale up. One part FPJ to 500 parts water works beautifully. FPJ doesn't just feed your plants, it actually feeds the microbial world beneath them, creating a probiotic environment where nutrients cycle naturally. Another classic KNF preparation is fish amino acid, or FAA, a potent liquid fertilizer that's rich in nitrogen and trace minerals. It provides a steady release of nutrients that promotes lush, green growth, but without the burn of chemical nitrogen. To make FAA, you'll want to mix 1 kilogram of chopped fish scraps, that's heads, bones and guts, with 1 kilogram of brown sugar. Place this mixture in a covered jar and let it ferment in a shaded area for at least two weeks, venting it occasionally. Once the strong fishy smell mellows to something more sweet and earthy, you'll know it's ready. For leafy vegetables, dilute one tablespoon of FAA in one liter of water, or use one part FAA to 1,000 parts water for established fruiting plants. Not only does this homemade fertilizer outperform many store-bought ones, but it also recycles waste that would otherwise be discarded. 
KNF also offers natural replacements for expensive calcium and phosphate supplements. Crushed eggshells roasted over low heat can be transformed into water-soluble calcium by soaking them in brown rice vinegar for 7 to 10 days. The bubbling, well, it indicates the reaction is working. Once it settles, just dilute 1 teaspoon per liter of water and use it to strengthen stems and improve fruit quality. Similarly, bones charred to a crisp can be soaked in vinegar to create water-soluble calcium phosphate which is excellent for fruiting and flowering stages. These formulas don't rely on synthetic chemicals. They recycle everyday waste into powerful natural nutrients, and that's another reason commercial fertilizer producers aren't exactly thrilled about this growing movement. Modern farming has pushed soils to exhaustion, relying on synthetic inputs that, you know, really degrade microbial life. But Korean natural farming restores balance, turning soil into a living ecosystem again. The benefits are visible and measurable, improved yields, better taste, longer shelf life, and resistance to pests and diseases, all achieved without harming the planet. Each time you spray fermented plant juice or add indigenous microorganism solution, you're not just feeding your plants. You're nurturing a network of life that keeps your soil fertile for generations. You're also helping capture carbon, reduce runoff, and minimize your garden's environmental footprint. This isn't just sustainable agriculture, it's prop bar. In spot the neck bar. Curative agriculture, where each action makes the land richer and more alive than before. What began with Korean farmers observing natural cycles is now inspiring growers worldwide. Korean natural farming scales effortlessly, from container gardens on balconies to large farms. You can start with a single jar of fermented plant juice and grow from there, adjusting as you learn. And because it's based on local materials and simple fermentation, KNF costs almost nothing. It reconnects gardeners with the rhythm of nature, offering independence from chemical companies and mass-produced fertilizers. This grassroots revival is proof that the future of farming doesn't depend on expensive technology or corporate solutions. It depends on gardeners, small farmers, and enthusiasts like you who are willing to work with nature, not against it. So, here's your challenge. Go out, make your first indigenous microorganism collection or your first batch of fermented plant juice this week. Watch how your soil responds. Feel the difference as your garden becomes more alive, your plants stronger, and your dependence on store-bought fertilizer fades away. Korean natural farming isn't a trend, it's a return to balance, a reminder that nature has already designed the perfect system for growth. We just have to listen. If you found this guide inspiring, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with other gardeners who want to grow smarter, not harder. And remember to subscribe to Crop Corner for more deep dive guides on sustainable gardening techniques that help you grow abundance naturally. Together, we're not just cultivating plants, we're cultivating a better, greener future, one handful of living soil at a time.